can see the back end is like the kitchen where the uh, design is done. So this is the front end. The front end is where everybody looks at uh, what has been done. It's more or less like the finished product. But the cooking, the act of uh, putting resources together, the act of um, designing is done at the back end. So I'm going to show you something about this website and how um, we can design this at the, at the back end. So the first thing I will do will be to have access to that back end. So how do we get access to the back end? So I will type um, slash the do domain name slash administrator. So when you type that it opens here, you type admin, then you type the password that was given to you. So now we are at the back end now. If you want to access the front end at any particular time, you can just click here. When you click there, it opens in another tab and shows you what you're looking at. Uh, this is the way the banner is. This is pre, uh, position one. This is a slideshow position. These two are occupying position two. Then this section is occupying on the left, is occupying position seven. Then this is where our feature articles appear. And this is occupying position six. So I'm going to quickly remove this because I think it was put in as a result of one of our practice. So what do I do? I'll go straight to extension. I'll go to Moodles. So when I open to Moodles, I'll see all the positions here. So here I have two position sevens. Uh, the national president is occupying one. Then I, will, I can just click on this and delete it. So that is removed. So if I come back here and refresh this, you can see that that information is out. And of course, it will not appear in any other place. So having done that, so now at the back end, everything about the position is, um, is access through position and, uh, and the module manager. Now, if I want to create a new position, I will need to click on, um, if I want to add something new to position seven, what I will need to do is to click on new. So when I click on new, I'll click on custom. This model allows you to create your own model using what you see is what you get a little. So I click on custom. So when I get here, I, I can, if it's something that I don't want to show the topic, I can specifically mention position seven. But if not, if I don't want to do that, I can type in it. For example, I can type something like device president. So here I'm going to bring in the picture of the vice president here of Apple APP the vice president of Apple. So how do I insert? If it's a text, I can just um, like I told you, you can uh, develop your text, then um, type, paste it on the on a notepad. Make sure that all the honestly uh, syntax are removed before you paste it here, or you can type directly here. So since it's going to be a picture, I will just click on images. So when I click on images, it will open to the image repository. So I can look for the picture of the vice president from here. So this is the picture of the vice president. So I click here and type insect. So assuming the picture was not there and it was on our system, what we would have done is to go to images, then we we'll scroll down and you see where you have upload file. So you click upload file. Search for that file on your desktop, click on it. Let's assume that I want to upload. Um, let's uh, let me pick this image for an example. So, see the image appears here, then I'll click upload, start upload. So, once it's uploaded, the file will automatically appear here. Now, if you want it to appear on the system, you have to click on it and specifically say insect before it shows here. So, now I've inserted the picture of the vice president here and I, and now I've written the vice president of Upon, and I'm here. I'm saying you should show title. If I don't want you to show title, I'll click hide. But if I want you to show, I maintain this. Then position. Don't forget position. Now the Joomla application we're using is A4 Joomla triplex. So now you can choose either any of these positions. But because we want to put it in position seven, I'll click on left position seven. So once I do this and I click save and close. Safe is if you still want to work there, safe and close means we are getting out of that environment. 
you can see here that I have two uh, um, two two items in position seven. Then if I come here and refresh, you will now see that a second a second item will automatically appear here, which is a picture of the vice president. So I can leave it this way, you know. But now you notice something. This picture of the vice president is appearing on all the other pages. So there is something about there's an option that can determine whether um, a certain um, module should appear only on the home page or it should appear on other pages. So let's go there. So I'm going to go back to what we've just done, the vice president. So now notice there's a mistake here. The national president is all, all in caps, but this is a small letter. So I'll go back and correct that. Then I will now choose where the vice president picture should appear. So I'll come here and type the... device president of Apple. So I'll remove all these. Then if I want this to appear only on the home page, I'll go to menu assignment and I said menu assignment, where do you want to assign this? On all pages, I said no, let it only be on only the pages selected. So what are the pages? I want it to appear only on the home page, so I have to deselect all this. So deselecting all this will automatically make that picture appear on the, so I can click save and close on the home page alone. So if I come here now and refresh, then I will be sure to see my picture on the home page. So that's basically how to insert the picture. So that's how to work with Moodle. So with that, then the next thing I talk about is articles. So where do you find articles? You go to content and you click on articles. So all the articles that we have are here. What are articles? All the write-ups that you have on this side. For example, this is an article. These articles are called featured articles because they appeared on the home page. Now, these are articles, but these articles appear on position six. Then if you click on about us, you see another set of articles. So these are all called articles. So how do you know these articles? You know the article by their name. For example, if I go to news and I click on second upon annual meeting, what I will see is that I see the article that was written here. So now, if you want to make corrections to this article, you go to the general place where you have all articles, and that is content articles. Content articles will show you all the articles. So you can see second upon annual conference. So from here, you can make correction to any article that you want. So I click on it and I can see all the articles are here. So this is where articles is created. Now, how is this article created? Articles can be created from by clicking new. When you click new, you can specifically type the name for your article and you can now type whatever you want. So let me show you how we can create a featured article. So now, how do you create a featured article? What are featured articles? Featured articles are articles that appear automatically on your home page. Now, if you go back to that article environment, I'm still here, on, that is, I went to here from clicking on content, then articles. Once you are here, you see featured articles. So when you click here, you see the featured article that is here. Now, if you click on this article, what you will notice is that what I've done here is that I'm using a single document to add all the articles that I want. This makes it easier. For example, this story you are seeing here comes with the title background information. So what I now did was to add another story, which I call procurement practitioner to partner with anti-corruption agency. So now that is why we have these two appearing here. So let me show you how we can create something. Let's let's just do an experimental thing quickly. So if I move down here to the next session and I type something like um, Let's even assume I talk about maybe the vision. I know the vision is already on position 7 of Apple. So if I type the vision of Apple, then I'll now come here and copy what this vision is. If I copy what this vision is and, and I paste it here, if I copy and I click save, what will happen is that this vision will be listed as part of the future article. I'm refreshing my page now. You can see the vision is added here. So this is just how we can keep building on to your featured article. So the featured article can be built just from this single environment. So I'll go back and remove it. So I'll, I'll, I'll scroll back to it and 
delete this one off then i quickly click save so once i click save so that will be removed so i've showed you now how to build a feature article the next thing i'm going to show you is how these articles were built to menu articles to menu and okay menu to articles then menu to url how is that done you go to so we leave the article environment we we'll click close to get out of this environment menus from menus we click on main menus all the menu items are listed here so what are these menu items they are all the things you see here from home to about us what you see on the call sub menus events all of them are listed here on the menu environment so how do you do menu to articles so let's assume that i want to create a new menu at strategic partners under about us so i'll create a new menu called strategic partners so i'll click on new don't forget how i went to menu i click on menu let me go back again to menu i went to menu main menu so here i will click on new so when i click on new i will type this i'll give a name strategic partner strategic partners strategic partners now when you come here menu item type if it's going to be an article you click select and you pick an article then you click single article so once you click on single article wait for you to load this article is empty you have to create the article this is menu to article so creating a menu automatically enables me to create an article for that menu so title name strategic partners so here so i'll go to google I'll go to google.com then i type it from instead of typing their name i can use their logo so i'll show you how to do that so i'm clicking on telephone then i click on images so i'm going to insert this telephone image so i right click here and the picture appears here right click and say save as so i have this so i'll type this telephone i'm saving it to my desktop so i'm sending it to my desktop so third phone has been downloaded down here so how do you insert this third phone picture so i will remove all this click on where i want to insert it click where i want to insert it then click on images since it's an image then i'll scroll down to the end i'll say upload a file what is the file i'll go to desktop the file name is third phone so i'll look for third phone this is the file then i'll say start upload it will not appear automatically on the document but it will move to the repository then from the repository i'll click on it and say insert third form so i'll click on it and say so third form has been inserted as a restricted partner i'll click on close So third phone is already there in the document. So now, where do I want the strategic partners to be? Now, look at the menu. Main menu, main menu route. If you accept it this way, it will automatically appear as one of the options here. But you notice that this width is filled up. So if you put anything here, it will push this over. But I want to put it under about us. So what do you do? Instead of saying main menu route, I'll scroll down here and say under about us. Now, it will become a sub menu under about us. Once you do that and you click on save, you will now see that when you refresh one third phone will be created article for third phone has been created and of course you will now have you can see it here third phone has been created article for third phone has been created and when i click on it it will open the article and it will show third phone and it will show third phone as a strategic partner so that's basically how it's done but then you can you can still further modify on something i saw that third phone uh, just to make it equal you notice that about us Everything is small letters here, but this is capital. So I'll just go here and change this to to small letters. Strategic partners. So I'll remove this. Stra strategic partners. Then I click save and close. So once I do that and refresh, so I can now see that it's in small letters. So I can add more to this anytime I want. So that is how to create menu. To article so I'm going to show you how to create menu to URL now URL URL how do you create menu to URL so let's look at where we can fix this let's assume that um, in okay look at what we did here now here we have a form a download form that we uploaded to our system the download form has this path this is the path to the download form so now let's assume that I want to create 
a sub menu. So now I'm going to create a sub menu under under uh, I'm looking for a way to put it under resources. I'm going to create a sub menu which I will still call download registration form. So how do I do that? So that I'm going. To, this is this example is showing you how to create menu to URL. So I'll go to new and I'll create a new menu item which I call um, upon rec form. I can even type it in for upon okay upon registration form upon registration form so i'll come here and say select now i'm not going to pick article again i'll go to system links then under system links i have url under the url i'll under the link i'll paste the link where i want you to open to but where do you want this to appear i want this to appear as one of our resources so it will be a sub menu under our resources so i'll click close save and close so now if i refresh this then i will now have under resources i'll have upon registration form when i click on it it opens that information so you can see our website is coming up fine first thing i'm going to show you will be how to upload files to your repository another way to do that now if you click on content and you click on media when you click on content and click on media you see that all the files that uh, pictures we're looking at are all here so how do you change these pictures you can go to upload and you can click choose your file choose your file from the system and once you've chosen the file then you click on it and it's going to show here then you click upload then it will move automatically here that's how you move your files over here and all these files you are seeing here are in the images folder so having said that the last thing i'm going to show you again is how do you change the picture of the slideshow this position you are seeing is a slideshow position so so slideshow position can be accessed from extension modules and when you get to extension modules you click on a r a i images slideshow so when you open here when you open here the most important place that should be of interest to you is where we have the image part the image part shows images for slideshow what this means is that anything you put inside this folder called slideshow will appear on this image folder so where is it you go back again so let's see let's see how we can access this slideshow so so there's nothing to change here what you need to do basically is to ensure that you put your file on a folder called slideshow under images so don't change anything here so how do you change what should be in slideshow you return back to content you do media and when you get to media you now look for a folder called slideshow this is a slideshow folder so you click on this now you see that all the pictures here are the pictures that automatically appears on your home page so if you delete if you want to delete all this picture you can click click delete the, then you now upload your picture into this folder that is how to manage this website thank you for listening